live vlog so if ever you wondered what a typical day looks like because honestly I don't have one day that's the same in my life well, this vlog is for you so it's currently 6 30 I'm on my way to spin at spin co I have class at 7 30 and then directly from there I'm gonna go to the office I'm gonna take my shower at the spin studio and all so it's very convenient it's about a 10 minute walk from the spin studio to my office it was just meant to be I also wanted to mention that today's vlog I am partnering with hashtag MTL style to show you guys just how much Montreal has style and how easy it is to incorporate local brands here into your daily outfits. So all my outfits will have at least one to two brands that are from Montreal. And I mean, obviously, starting off with my workout, I have three Montreal brands here and I'll be changing into my work outfit later and probably tonight into another one. So let's go. So it turns out that I have like a quick meeting with the whole division at 9 and it's 8.58 so I don't have time to show you my outfit just yet but stay tuned. <laughs> I reserved 30 minutes this afternoon in a room where I can explain a little more what I do, show you guys concrete examples. What is up, bish? So as I was saying before, being interrupted by one of my colleagues, I reserved a room from 2 to 2.30 so I can work and show you guys and talk a little more about what I do. Um, and this lunch hour, I was not feeling social. <laughs> so I came outside and I want to read a bit because it's really nice. So I didn't want to stay indoors with the other people. Sue me. You want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> to the vlog? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, so I just took a room so I can work here um, and talk to you guys a little bit more about what I do. So as you probably saw at the beginning of the vlog, like, all our desks are in an open space area and that's why at my desk I can't necessarily talk a lot. I can't show you guys much because I don't want to disturb people around me. That being said, I'm here for the next hour to just work a little bit in peace and talk to you guys at the same time when I can. And just to give you guys a little bit of background, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know that I'm a digital marketing and PR intern for Maybelline New York and Essie 
which are two beauty brands from the L'Oreal group here in Canada. And the headquarters of L'Oreal Canada are in Montreal, which is really great. It's fantastic to have such a big company here in Montreal. We do have small offices around, let's say, Toronto area, uh, Vancouver area and all that for sales rep reps. <laughs> but other than that, everything is happening here in Montreal. Um, just to give you guys an idea of on a daily basis what I do. So every week I have one page here with my to-do list of the week of things I need to get done. So I have um, the Amazon brand stores. So we have our own stores on Amazon for Maybelline and Essie. I spent a grand majority of my two past months working on rebranding the whole store, but I have to update it a lot, pretty much weekly, with new products that we're launching or new events such as National Lipstick Day, which is taking place on Monday, July 29th. So, for example, we're having a deal on Amazon. So, for that occasion, I had to create a page. I had to update the homepage saying 15, 15 or 30 or whatever percent off some of the lipsticks, for example. If not, uh, creating collection ads on Facebook. So, I create the whole maquette, so I really choose the assets that I want to use, I take, take care of the caption, I link each product to the right site, and then I get it approved by the marketing assistant, and from that I contact our agency to activate it. And then afterwards I create newsletters as well, so for National Lips Lipstick Day, for example, I have to create a newsletter for one, of the brand, one of the, for one of the products we're launching, I have to create one as well. And obviously, I need to do the Maybelline and SE social calendar for Facebook. That's pretty much what I do. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> we have very busy days usually here um, at the office, which I don't mind because I love being busy. I prefer that than like looking at the hour every five minutes. Um, and obviously, I would love to show you guys more in depth what I do like exactly, but I just can't because a lot of the things that I do now will be, for example, sent out in two weeks or be published in two weeks or even in a couple of months so i can't show you guys that because it's like secret but i will show you for example that maybelline social i have to plan out some posts for the next few days when it's going to be published tomorrow so the vlog will come out afterwards and i'll be showing you guys how i do that but that's pretty much it it's a really really exciting internship i only have three weeks left which is crazy i can't believe that three months have already gone by and then I'm going back to school. I love it here. I would have wished I could stay a little longer or that I haven't, I, or if I didn't have any school left, but I do, and that's fine too. I mean, everything happens for a reason, so maybe I'll come back another time. We shall see. But that being said, after talking to you for almost five minutes, I need to get back to work if I want to leave at five. Let's go. So I'm just planning out some posts for National Lipstick Day. So for example, I found the asset I wanted to use a day before. It's like a little countdown. So I said only one day left until hashtag National Lipstick Day to kind of tease the people. And I'm publishing it on the Maybelline Canada Facebook page. And now all I have to do is do this and then schedule it for the 28th. And we'll be good to go. So I obviously write the caption in English in first because just because our audience is more anglophone and then I'm going to write it in French and then I'm just going to schedule it. And I'm going to do that for other National Lipstick Day posts. <laughs> and just like that, it's the end of a work day. Only not really because I'm going to go home and I'm most probably going to work a bit there, but at least I can do it in the comfort of my house. So that's a plus. <laughs> Okay, I am home, and as much as I love my hashtag MTL style OTD, um, whenever I get home, this literally happens every single night, well, evening, I should say, um, if I don't have something going on later on at night, or even sometimes when I do, but if I don't have anything like in the next couple of hours, I will 100% change into a comfy outfit it's like the moment. There's nothing more satisfying than throwing on a comfy shirt or like a pair of joggers or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try once again with my little challenge to be incorporating Montreal brands to promote hashtag MTL style because you know all our Montrealers here are very stylish and I love encouraging brands from this lovely city. So
I'm gonna do that, get changed, and then afterwards I believe that I'm just gonna take a little break before getting back to work just to clear my mind like a 30 minutes and then I'm gonna work, do what I have to do so like that I can have the rest of the evening off. Let's get this bread, people! Woo! And just so you know, I know that I was a little more low-key during the day, obviously because I was at work, I didn't want to be, you know, I wanted to act professional. Um, but now that I'm home, you'll see the true me. <laughs> Are you ready for this? So I'm in the kitchen now and I got changed. I'm wearing a very chill lounge outfit, so it's not to see the most fashionable thing, but I still want to show you guys that it's possible to be comfy in Montreal brands. <laughs> so this top is from Garage. It's like a beige taupey rib top. It's the comfiest. They have multiple colors that they sell. I actually just bought recently a lime green one and like I wear it all the time. You probably saw it on my Instagram. And then I just threw on some like cotton jersey gray shorts from Arden. I'm probably gonna be saying this the whole evening. I probably won't want to go out later just because I'm too comfy in this outfit but Sorry, not sorry. Favorite thing to do when I want to just chill a bit is catch up on my YouTube videos. And please, guys, not pay attention to this. We're renovating our bathroom and nothing's prepared. Like, we don't have anything to store all of our products and everything. So we have bins around the house <laughs> for that. And, yeah, not cute, but I see what I be. Let's see. Oh my god, my hand is shaking. Obviously, this is what I'm gonna be watching. Emma! <laughs> Stunning queen. And now there's like about a 99.9% .9 chance that I fall asleep. I guess we just finished working. Your gal here. Oh, crrr. Okay, so it's much later. It's currently 9.08. I got my work done. I ate supper. Nothing too interesting to show you. And it just comes to show you that my days are pretty basic um, most of the time. <laughs> now, we are Thursday. And Thursday, I have the tendency to go out with my friends. C'est les jeux de redzi, as we say. However, I don't know if that's happening or not tonight. I'm quite tired, to be honest with you. And I have a big day of work tomorrow. So there are two options. I either come back on the vlog and let you guys know. Oh, guys, look, this is my like fifth OTD of the day. <laughs> and I'm going out. Other option is like, oh, guys, this is my fifth OTD, but the OTD will be a PJ and I'll be in bed. I don't know what to do. So all of those that predicted earlier that I was going to stay in. Well, you got them right. <laughs> Honestly, I was reapplying my makeup to go out and I was just like, you know what? I can't. I'm so tired. I got up early this morning to go spinning. I'm working tomorrow morning early, so I just, I'm just gonna go to bed. That being said, my knees really, really hurt because going to spin two times in less than 24 hours when you haven't been in two weeks and a half is not the best idea. And I do have knee problems because of my years playing volleyball. So whenever that happens, I apply the deep blue rub, rub lotion from doTERRA and it has like essential oils in it so it's a little less like chemicals in your body if you know what i mean just gonna rub that in my knee and then get all cuddle up and read my book that's pretty much it good night everyone <laughs>